Shadow of Judgment. Hello. Fire signs. You're the last ones. Once again, this is actually kind of gone in the same order as it did last week. So let's see what is happening here with you fire signs. Aries, you're up first as always. So you are definitely going the first round. Let's see what's going on with you. Oh, what is Shadow of Judgment, by the way, for any of you who are new? This is when I look at the subconscious, the dark, what people don't see, which you know on an intuition level, but not one in really in, like, you know, the 3D. Think of it as, like, taking a spook around the astral plane to find things that uh, you didn't know were happening or you were trying to keep a secret. Right, right. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. As stated before, Aries, you're up first. And remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. All right, we got the Double Reverse and Five of Swords. Someone wants to play some games. When it's some mental shit, there might be a Capricorn involved here too, but it could be some of you trying to get out of a... Um, not so healthy relationship, Aries. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, somebody needing to give something up. Or somebody giving up on something, right? Like, there might be a decision to be made based on past events. Someone feels betrayed, but they might have done it to themselves after playing games. And there is a, a lack of clarity here. That is causing someone to want to give up. No, God, I just repositioned myself. Could be a water sign of all. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio. I can't not talk today at all. I don't know why. Uh, also, a page of pentacles. It's like both of them are giving off offers in opposite directions. One's offering tentative stability, the other one is offering tentative love. Both on a very immature level. Aries, okay. Let's see. There's a bad relationship going on, and or something. Somebody came out of it, or Capricorn might have come out of a bad relationship. Possibly deciding to offer their love up, or they're trying to, like, deal with this relationship and make it healthy once again. And they're offering their cup up. But there's a secret here. I don't know why all this is secret. Once again, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, right? Someone wants to childlike offer their cup up to something in the past, I feel like. Um, but someone feels like they are surrendering because of some lack of clarity what's keeping them in the cold with this other person they feel like is a liability. It's like someone is really confused about what it is they want to do and that's what they're keeping secret. While over here, it's like there are, it, someone feels like there's mind games getting played. And somebody is using that to uh, make themselves look more of a victim than what they actually are. When it comes to some sort of really tentative offer. It, it looks promising. Uh, no sure success or guarantee, but it does look very promising. Aries. But someone does feel like they did this to themselves. I just want to make that clear. Someone does feel like they're kind of doing it to themselves now. But that's your shadow of judgment, Aries. Leo, you're up next. Let's see what's going on in your shadow, right? Right. Let's see. Page of Swords reversed. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, right here, Leo. Let's see what this got to say about that. Why would that be vital or important in this right now? 
Oop. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Reverse. Someone's really paranoid about an offer. And someone's running away from the fairness. It's too much of a burden. Um, the book. Hmm. There you are, Leo. There's Aquarius. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm, I'm trying to look over this and make some sense now. Sorry. Spiritual separation possibly for you as well. Or you're dealing with a Sagittarius who's lost her temper. One of the two. Or some growing of impatience somewhere. Right? I feel like you're running away from something. Not saying much of anything. Possibly ghosting or just air signs ghosting. Under the premises of what is fair and balanced. Could be a Libra, since the Six of Pentacles has a scale. And this has something to do with you or happiness in general, Leo. Um, definitely a burden here with the closing of this world, like the cycle wasn't completed, with someone not communicating or communicating communications lacking. Um, as I was saying before, a severance of souls being connected, that kind of separation, right? Uh, now, someone is paranoid for some information that would be an offer, but they're keeping that a secret. Uh, if anyone's trying to play a silent retriever game with an Aquarius, that's not a good idea. Because um, they, they invented it, you know. So just putting that out there, Leo. That's your shadow of judgment. Yours is very interesting. Sagittarius! Hurrah! Okay, I'm done. It was actually rather loud. So let's see what's going on with you, Sagittarius. What's your shadow of judgment? The Empress Reverse. And someone's mad and bitter. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aries, could be a Libra. Venetian energy, right? She's just there doing her thing. And the Emperor Reverse. Oh, this is a pairing. A divine pairing, almost. Yeah. They're both pissed. They're not even, like... Neither one of them are looking at each other. <laughs> no, like, they just don't even want to deal with each other. How interesting. A divine pairing right here. Right in your Sagittarius. Insecurities. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, like, someone played some fuck-fuck games. This dude's come to a matter of truth when it comes to the relationship. Now, now if this was Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, that would still be Divine Feminine, because she's just off of her throne. She can't be on her throne when uh, he isn't. Kind of got swooped from under her. She could still have an acting throne. That's why her throne's awesome. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this is almost like a divine uh, masculine feminine reading right here, Sagittarius. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna pull one more, just because I'm curious. Mmm! Okay. So. Sagittarius, right? Let's say, like... This is the female, and this is the male, okay? The female might be one person who is mentally savvy to a point where people will walk away. Um, you know, you might have won the argument, but you lost the friend kind of thing. So now she's sitting here by herself as the Queen of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus, once again, of course, with the Empress. Libra, once again, with uh, Queen of Swords. And Queen of Swords is looking at this offer like, you can take that shit right back outside where it came from, or so help me. You know, the, the, the dude in this one, he's come to an idea, but he's not moving forward to offer anything. 
Now, there's a lot of insecurity between these two when it comes to the relationship, and I feel like... Whatever would be manifested as an offer right now wouldn't be good enough for her. She's in total bitchy face mood. Being logical. Like, she lost her heart. You know? That's how it would be with the divine pairing. Um, slowly but surely, the uh, divine feminine is losing her ability to love anything. All because masculine won't uh, show that he still loves her. Like, I mean, and that's the whole crux of it, you know. Like, she'll still be a wonderful creature, but in the end, like, when it comes to trusting people enough to give her a heart to, it'll be dead shortly. So, you know, shit happens. Hopefully that's not happening for you, which I don't think it is, Sagittarius. But that was your Shadow of Judgment for the week, Sag. Thank you all for watching my videos. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I do not charge or whatever, but I do take tips and donations, and my PayPal is there as well. You guys have a wonderful day. I love your face. Don't get in any trouble, or at least don't get caught. Love you. Bye-bye.